Okay, so after what three long years, I've uh, well, I was cleaning up my room and I found this thing. And so I said, Oh, yeah, this thing. So I started working on it again, trying to fix what was wrong with it, which was pretty much everything. And uh, first of all, I started making measurements and all that, and I noticed the slide was about five millimeters short. And uh, I was looking at blueprints, I was cross referencing using this airsoft gun. And even on this uh, 1 1 scale diagram I made, which I used to make this, it's correct here, but some, somewhere along the way I lost 5 millimeters, so I had to go ahead and patch it up and extend it and fix that. And also, um, I didn't like the whole modern ISK. Uh, what is it called? Aesthetic. Yeah, there's a the word. I didn't like that where what where that was going, so I'm, I was gonna actually change it over to um the classic 1911, not an A1, but the classic World War One variant. So I had to basically remake most of the parts and reprofile the slide, get get rid of the serrations, put in new air and all that, and uh, so the mainspring housing I had to take off the back make it flat uh, same thing with the thumb safe I mean, uh, grip safety chop that beaver tail off and round it off smooth out the back piece back strap right here and obviously I'm gonna have to remake the hammer I have a real one for reference which I'll probably end up using it and uh, but I'll still probably make one for display purposes and then of course the recoil guy recoil spring guide and uh, housing or the bushing or whatever it's called probably remake those to spec and and as far as the frame goes there's still a lot of uh, work that needed to be done even before I started fixing it and uh, after working with real guns I noticed how <laughs> it became very clear how sluggish the parts were in contrast to each other and so I had to make that make everything smooth polish it and reprofile it to where it would it's glass smooth and it's actually a little bit loose right now but I'm hoping that would after I paint it that will fill up some of the gap and I'll still be slick but not battly like it is right now and uh Going back to the frame, the slide is okay, it's pretty much done. Just gotta put serrations and all that. But anyways, the frame, um, everything you see in black marker are the spots that need work. So I need to, uh, have, upon close examination, the rail are slightly curved, I guess. Not the rails, but the, the frame, the lower section right here slightly curved so I'm, I'll have to put some fillers and then eventually put a final layer after belt sanding the whole thing's flat I'll probably put a, a final layer of one smooth piece to make every all the edges crisp and sharp and so that's where all the black marks are to remind me remind myself the places that needs filling and reprofiling like uh, trigger guard right here, I actually need to add material on the inside and remove a little bit of the outside material to get it the proper spec. And of course, the A1 has the finger relief cut right here, so I went ahead and started filling that out to make it flat. And that's uh, pretty much it. Need to remove a little bit of material in there. Does the slide tend to hang up in there when it's fully retracted? And uh, yeah, so it's not too bad. I, I didn't have to remake the entire thing, so I can still salvage most of what's here. So, and like I said, it's been three years, and I've learned a lot of things in three years, so hopefully, this will be actually a pretty decently functioning piece, if not a very 
well my display I guess display piece so that's pretty much it and I'll keep you posted amongst many other things <laughs>